Let's try one more example or one more function where we're evaluating the limits using the calculator. And so we've got graphical and table techniques to do this. And I mean, I like to rely on the table just for by personal preference, only because the pixels on our calculator are often just not precise enough for us to see really what's going on. So as usual, I'm going to go make a table down here. And I'm going to record what I find in my function. So in y equals, you should put this function here. And then you want to go to your table set, so hit second window, and make sure your independent variable is set to ask, not auto. And then go back to your table, so hit second table. And now we're interested in as x approaches zero. So let's start by plugging in a few numbers a little smaller than zero. So how about a number like point one, uh, negative point one. And you get an error. So why do you get an error? Well, if you look at the function itself, we're evaluating logs, and the log of a negative number does not exist. So I don't think we need to worry about plugging in negative numbers, and if you doubt that, try like negative point zero one, you'll see you get the same thing. All right. Uh, when you plug in zero, same thing. And remember, the important thing with limits is not what the what the value is, but what are we approaching? So it looks like we can only approach this limit from the from the right hand side, because approaching it from the left, from the negative side, since they're all errors, it means the value of the function does not exist. So I can just adjust that a little bit. Um, now let's try a number like uh, point zero zero one. 0 0.001, my calculator gave me, it says 1 e negative 4, but that's just, that's 1 times 10 to the negative 4, which is a very, very small number. And if we try point, uh, zero 0.01, you get negative point zero zero two two, And if you try point 0.1, you get point zero four one four. Uh, whoops, wrong place. If you plug in point one, you get negative point zero four one four. So I we should probably focus on this. This is the x value that's closest to closest to zero, and we get a really, really tiny number. If you wanted to get even more precise, and again, your table doesn't have to go in order. I just do it so you can kind of see this idea of, you know, as we get closer to zero, the y value we're approaching looks like it's going to be zero. But if you weren't sure, you know, you could even just try this this input, point zero 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 one, And you'll see it's 1 times 10 to the negative 5, which is even closer to zero than 1 times 10 to the negative 4. So I think we can be pretty confident that that's approaching zero. What about approaching uh, 1 from the right? So we already got our table. Let's just delete all those entries there. Let's make a new table here. And we're approaching 1 from the right. So let's, pl let's plug in numbers really close to 1, but on the right-hand side. So like 1.1. 1 .1. Let's try that. Plug in 1.1. 1 .1. You get 7.7845. Try 1.01, .01, even closer to 1. 1.01 .01 gives you 70.162. And let's try 1.001. .001. You get 693.99. Let's try one more. 1.0001 1 .001 gives you... 6,932.3. So it looks like as x is approaching in uh, 1 from the right-hand side, our y value is approaching infinity. And the last one, 
if we wanted to plug in numbers, uh, we wanted to approach one from the left hand side, then we would be plugging in numbers close to one but a little less than it. So we try 0.9. So I had to delete my table, plug in 0.9, you get negative 6.092. Try point nine nine, and you get negative sixty eight point four seven, and point nine 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 gives you negative six ninety two point three, and let's just try point nine 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 nine. you get negative 6,931. So you can see now as x is approaching 1 from the right-hand side, I'm sorry, from the left-hand side, the y value, the y values are approaching negative infinity. So this is equal to negative infinity. So there are some strategies for using the calculator to evaluate limits. Um, you can use the graph, but I think that using a table is often better as long as you can uh, you understand how to interpret the table correctly.